The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to scratch.com. So type scratch into Google. And it should be the first one on the list. And if we click on that link, that takes to the Scratch website. And hopefully your teacher has set you up with a user account. So type in your username and your password. And that will take you to your own homepage. And from there, if we click on the Create button, we'll be ready to start our first program. So let's look at, have a look at the Scratch interface. On the left here is the stage where all that dancing is going to take place. And in the middle, we have all the instructions that are available to us to make our character move. So there's some events and some control commands and some about the way it looks. So for example, what we could do is drag over some commands onto this pane on the right hand side, which is where all the instructions will appear in the scripts. And we just join them together, click them together. And if we don't want them, we just drag them back on to that center space. We'll start in the bottom left hand corner looking for a background for the dance to take place in. So let's choose a backdrop from the library and there's a whole swathe of possible backgrounds. Let's have a look for one. Let's go for Bartley Mural. And when we click on OK, that will become the background for our dance routine. Now we're not going to have the cat dancing, that'd be silly. So let's take a look at that sprite. If we just click on the cat and then right click, we'll choose delete because we don't want that to be the character that dances. So we're going to have to select a new one. We're going to click on New Sprite. And we've got a whole host of options here. But the one we're looking for is Anina Hip Hop, because Anina is a character we're going to make dance. And here she appears. So there's Anina. Now, Anina's currently in one particular pose. And the poses that we call in, in Scratch, we call them costumes. So in that middle pillar, you can see we've got some options for costumes. And if I go through them, you'll see that in each one of these pictures, Anina is doing a move or a hip hop move. So we've got all of these costumes available to us to perform our dance. And by playing them one after the other or in different sequences, we can perform a routine. And that lets us see all of them. And then we go back to the scripts right at the top there, because that's where the coding is going to happen. So back to the original position and click on the scripts. Next thing we're going to add is the sound, the music that we're going to choose for this. So click on sounds and we can choose one from a library or record one there and then. But let's upload a sound from a file. So hopefully your teachers managed to give you the folder where all the sounds are. And I'm going to choose Ben Sound um, Dance, it's called Ben Sound Dance. And it's going to convert that MP3 file into something that the software can work with. And there it is on the screen. So that's a sound we've added. Let's just have a listen. There we go. So that's going to be the sound that's going to be added to our dance. And that's what we'll be dancing to. Okay, so now we're going to do some actual coding. I'm going to start off with an event that says when the green flag has been clicked, and the green flag's over here. So I'm trying to tell the computer what kind of instructions have to follow when the green flag is clicked. And I'm going to drag across from the sounds option. I want to play that sound, that Ben sound um, dance. And if you click on the down arrow, you'll get to see all the list of, of sounds that you possibly have. So I've chosen the sound I want to have. And then from the looks commands, I'm going to switch the costume, which is currently set to Anina Stan. So that's the actual one she's, she's, she's in. But as soon as I click on the green button, that's what I want to happen. Okay, so now I want to go onto this dance routine. So I'm going to go from the events commands. I'm going to drag across when space is pressed. I'm going to change that to the letter A. So what do I want to happen when A is pressed? Well, I'm going to go to my looks and I'm going to switch costumes. So I'm going to change where Anina is positioned on the screen. So I'm going to start her off in that position and then switch to a different one. So I click on the down arrow and I choose the costume, remember, that she can possibly move to. So when A is pressed, here comes the music, and then when I 
takes E, she jumps into position. Let's look at that again. So when I press green flag and then I press E, it seems that she jumps very quickly to that second costume. So perhaps what I need to do is to put in a little gap there. And I can do that from the control commands. I'm going to wait one second before Anina switches to her second costume or her second position in the dance routine we're trying to do. So here comes the music for the press A. You can see I do get to see that first costume. Then there's a second wait. Press A, get the first position and then that second position. There's a bit of a delay there, isn't there? One second seems a little bit too long. So I can change the length of that by clicking in the gap there. And the little white space will change it to 0 0.3. Let's have a listen now. Press A, and she moves really, really quick there, doesn't she? Okay. So, not 0.3 is what we're going to be using. I'm going to right click where it says wait 0.3 and I'm going to duplicate that code, which means I've got the same two lines of code and then I can just click them underneath the previous ones. And that means it's a quick way of building some instructions and all I need to do now is change the position or the costume that Anina is showing. So that now when I play it, I press A, we can see the four moves that Anina is making. Let's see that again. There's the moves. I'm still not happy about that gap, however, that 0.3 seconds. Let me try 0.5, just so as it tries to match to the beat of that song. So the moves look a little bit more natural. So 0.5, let's give that a go. Okay, so that's 0.3 is too quick. 2.5 is too slow, so let's go for 0 0.4, let's see where we get to. So, green flag, A, much, much better. Okay, so let's go for another key in the keyboard and give Anina a different set of moves to make. So I'm going to change this from uh, an A key being pressed, let's go for uh, S, because S is next to A on the keyboard. So this is a different sequence of moves. And rather than grabbing them all over again, I'll just right click on that top one, choose duplicate, and it'll copy all of the commands that are underneath there so as I can just snap them across. I know that they're snapped across, I know I've got the timings right. I can then have a look at the kind of costumes or poses that I want to put Anina in. Just to make this a different set of moves from what we previously had. Obviously, you're going to choreograph, as a word, you're going to choreograph your own uh, routines with your own poses. Let's have a look at this then. Green flag. Press A. Know how that works. S. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. Um, I might make one or two changes. Let's have a look again. S. Do I like that routine? Well, let's go back. I maybe want to change that third position. I'm going to change that. I don't like what's happening there, so I'm changing it. Back to green flag. SS. Okay. Maybe some other changes. I don't like the, the, the first position, which is Anna's stance. Let's move that again. Let's change it. Okay, let's try something then. them together working really really well and stop and so now I've got two keys to add two different routines to what she's doing okay I'm going to now add in some more movement this I'm going to choose from the motion list of possible options and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little instruction before the moves I'm going to try and move and then I'm going to glide her 
across the screen to a different position. And it's just using the coordinates that we'll find. As you can just see the coordinates moving. And as I move my pointer, you'll see the X and Y coordinates. Just in the bottom right hand corner of the stage there, they change as I move my pointer. So I'm going to move, I mean, I'm going to glider to X equals 40. So let's click the green flag and type in A. Okay, we see that move. Let's move her back again. Start with green, move back to the first position. Let's A. She moves across. So she glides and then she does those moves. But that glide takes one second. So that's a bit too slow for me. So let's just change that. Green flag back to first position. Oh, we'll need to move her. We'll need to move her back to zero zero, pretty much. A. Okay, so that's a quick move. Let's stop that. Move her back. Let's just see how that happens. We're gliding for 0.2 seconds when I hit A. Let's go and then those moves happen. Okay, so now let's try something similar for S, although this time what we're going to do is move back the way, back from that 40 position to position 0, where X is 0. So let's get her back to 0 as much as we can, and then when I click on the green flag, and then press S and A, you see she's gliding from one position to another. So again, that gives us a different sense of movement with our choreography. I'm also going to add something on to what happens when the green flag starts. So when the green flag is first hit, I'd like um, Anina to go to zero, 0 straight away, or zero, 2 as it is there, back to the centre. So she always starts in the centre. One extra thing I'm going to add in is a set rotation style to left-right. Um, it's quite important, a little bit of code, so that if we're trying to move her in different directions, she doesn't go upside down. We can, of course, then choose a different background if we're not happy with the background we've currently got. Let's put Anina up against a brick wall. And it's here we can do something different with sprites. We can add another new sprite. Let's go to AZ Hip Hop. This is another character who has got several costumes. And we can position him in a different place. And then let's have a look at his events. You can see that over on Anina's we've got all these scripts. So I'm going to copy or duplicate that section of code and drag it and drop it over AZ. And now you can see in his scripts, where he currently had nothing, he's now got this code. So I'm not going to make him glide anywhere. I'm just going to get him to be moving in different places. And instead of Anina's movements, I've now got AZ's movements. So let's give him some styles and some choreography. And then we'll have a look at the green flag. See, both of them move, both of them are doing completely different things, different sets of moves. So you can have more than one character on your screen at any one time. Let's stop that. And we can change the key for AZ, so rather than using the A and S, so he can be moving independently of when Anina, when we press A for Anina, for example. And, that, and that's how you add characters, make them move give them animation, change costumes. You can watch this as often as you like till you pick it up.